Okay guys, welcome back. You may recognize this yard. This is the one that was called Pinecone Extravaganza, but I filmed it from the other angle. I was way over there. But I am back because we have got a fairly overgrown septic tank. I know you guys like to see me challenge the cheetah, and this will be a challenge for it. Like this area here is going to be no issue whatsoever, even though it's tall. About two feet tall with the whips. About a foot of grass, another foot of whips. But the problem is this is a septic tank. and We have stuff like super thick, wet crabgrass. And I cut this yard at two inches. This is a customer who wants me to cut it at two inches. So a lot of grass is coming off the top here. And uh, being a septic tank, it seems to like kind of always be leaking. And so it's like always soggy. I can almost get stuck in this area over here. And then to add to it, it's got the morning dew on it, which I hope throws off a nice mist. But we'll see. This is super thick. Let me come down to the bottom of the hill here. There we go. So over here is that's nice bahia. And then tall bahia, and then crabgrass and a bunch of junk. But it will be something to look at. And uh, this um, septic tank is going to be the main feature, so that's why I'm putting it here in the front of the video. So if you only like tall grass, you can watch this thing go away. But uh, there's going to be a lot of bonus footage on here of regular mowing. And so um, stay tuned if you like that sort of thing. You can tell already there's something on the lens. I'll get that off and set up the tripod and get started. Okay, so wasn't that ridiculous? Yeah, this, you know, it kind of happens every time here because, uh, you know, it's a septic tank, you guys that do this. Um, it's always the worst grass. It's always full of this crab grass and, you know, wet grasses. Luckily, I've got the woods right here that I can blow into. But a real challenge. And, you know, you definitely, the cheetah practically stopped right about there. And let me get close up to show you what this is. You know, Certainly having trouble with the flow, but reason being is this is not this is not grass. This is crab grass. This is a mess. This is like oatmeal. And so, you know, I don't think there's really anything out there that's gonna mow that clean. Unless it's, you know, three inches tall and you're cutting it down to two inches. But I'm taking it from a foot down to two inches and uh, it's wet and so you know there are limitations there <laughs> and then look at this it gets all over the tires and that's why i always i don't know if you can hear me this is why i always mow the septic tank first so that all this stuff can come off the wheels by the time i you know, when i'm mowing way out there by the time i leave here all that will be off of there 
So anyway, that was just this part of the septic tank. I've got to go mow over that part now because I'm sorry. Get away from the mower. But that that area has more grass, but I'm gonna run into the same issue over here because there's more crab grass over here. Anyway, set it up again and mow it all down. Look at this leftover mist over here. Mist is still clearing from that. I have a feeling that's going to be some pretty good footage because something I really like is the mist that it throws off. Anyway, this is definitely some of the less glamorous mowing. It's absolutely horrible. It's like mowing oatmeal. Lots of oatmeal. And you can make it look pretty good, but it takes some, some doing. Definitely, definitely bogged the cheetah down real super bad. But again, that's because it's not grass. And it's because it's not a yard, it's a septic tank. But it looks decent. You know, I definitely have to go over it here and there. To get some clumps and stuff. 
but you know thank god the woods are here i wouldn't you know otherwise i'd have to go over and over and over it until it's gone horrible things like this this is like paper mache So this is the part I look forward to, mow the rest of the yard, especially like these sparse and almost sandy areas. And what that's going to do is get rid of all this grass off the mower. Look at that. It's stuck on there like paste. Okay then, uh, the rest of this video is going to be quite a bit nicer to look at. Um, I imagine some of you probably didn't like that. You guys that like the nice, clean, straightforward stripes and so on. The rest of this video will be exactly that, so please stay tuned, and uh, I'll wrap it up at the end. so we are all done now just wanted to show that the mower is nice and clean again of course its tires just clean themselves so we got all that nasty grass off of there now and I don't think there's any up under the deck either I didn't look but with the um, thinner sandy conditions back there 
I think that they're it's all gone. That's the way I always do this one. But this one came out looking really nice. It always does this area. And I will walk around and show you um, the finished septic tank area. Okay, there it is. Tell you what, night and day. Now this is the only yard that I mow down at two inches and uh, it rides on the anti-scalp rollers on the deck. And so, boy, what a challenge. But I end up making it look this good every time. Which is not perfect, but man, what can you do, you know? That's a nice view there. Alright, let me come around to the front yard and show you how that came out. Look at that. Now if anyone's fairly new to my channel and didn't see this mode last time and get the explanation why I was mowing everything all one direction, is because this customer really wants all the pine cones you know, cleaned up, and she uh, suggested that to just keep mowing them all one direction and send them into the canal over there. And so that's the way I've been doing it for last five years. And that'll be about it. Let me go on back to the truck because I wanted to show you something. Okay, here we go. I just wanted to show, some of you may have noticed that the console is off. And the reason being is because of that um, thing right there. That's the starter relay that is hanging up on me. Um, I don't think it's the contacts on the plug. There's something wrong with the relay itself. I keep having to have to tap it a lot to get the thing start. And so the reason why I'm showing you this is that this right here, now the cheetah is three years old, and that right there is going to be the first repair. I gotta tell you, this is one heck of a good mower. I'm sold on Skag forever and uh, recommend it to everybody. But that wraps it up for this one. Stay tuned for lots and lots more. If you, um, if you just watch this and you uh, don't like all the time lapse and music and stuff, um, hang tight. In a few days I'll put the real time version on. It'll be real long, but there's a lot of people who uh, want those real time versions, so I'm happy to do them. But they uh, they actually take longer than the, uh, doesn't make sense, but they do take longer to make than the, uh, the you know, the other version. The, the short attention span version. Okay, that'll do it. Everybody have a good day. Bye.